What's up guys, this is Egon Russia straight from Siestrorietsk city and this is uh, my exploration. I'm gonna walk on Siestrorietsk resort town's beach and go to the city center towards the railway station. Hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys stay tuned and uh, we're gonna start off from this here. This is the park of Tu. Du Dublin, too big something. I forgot the name. I filmed for another film material for another video, but before that, but before we continue, I'm gonna check out if the sound is okay. Hold up. Well, actually, there's no way of me knowing if it's uh, working or not since I'm connected to my mic, so that means I don't hear anything. <laughs> All right, my presumption is that it works. I hope uh, people will join in. We're going to continue our uh, video. Guys, if somebody's there, please comment if the sound is okay and we will continue before I get eaten alive by. Uh, by different uh, insects. This is Igor in Russia, Siestrarietsk resort town near St. Petersburg, 40 minutes bus drive away. This is a beautiful place. We're gonna go to the beach and start it off from the Great Patriotic War, World War II location here. This is a three directional uh, bunker or a fire position from built in 1930. And uh, during the, it says on the plaque, during the 1943, it uh, pushed back the Finnish attack on the on this Karelian front over here. So, so you now understand where I'm standing. This is the Gulf of Finland. This is the very, like, uh, half islands peak where we're standing right now. Beautiful park. I think it's Dubik. It's called Dubik. All right, guys, join in. Are you able to comment? I don't know, you should. You should be able to comment. All right. Still trying out with my mic. Please let me know if the sound is good. This is the, uh, the fire position. And you can see uh, bullet holes as well here, or explosions, I don't know. This one has a, uh, a small spider living in it. Namaste, it's good. Hello, Johnny, thank you. Finally, somebody concurred. You can see this probably had a, an explosion nearby, ripped off something, some bullet holes more and more all right we're gonna go and enjoy the the beach you're gonna see more of this bunker on my other video and uh, in case we see some cats not necessarily on, on the beach I have prepared I have some food I always bring as you know I always bring some cat food with me if I and you most often I do remember to bring it with me so this is like extraordinary beautiful park and this is the peak of it and that's the Gulf of Finland hope you guys love it
Thank you very much, Johnny, for for your super chat. Much appreciated, and promise you it will go to the cat food. I always buy, so all that support is welcome. And uh, if you want to support the channel, super chat, super sticker is a good way. Plus, it keeps me motivated since I know people actually like watching this and appreciating. All right, guys. Uh, Subscribe. Let's walk by the river of the ancient Soviet Soviet embankment. I just walked here, so I know what to expect. It's gonna be awesome. Check out all the are these called oysters? Ah, uh, yeah. And I wanted to say that if we don't, we probably won't see cats right here on the beach. This is not like a Istanbul where there's a lot of fishermen and cats are waiting by the fishermen, which is so awesome. But uh, we're gonna go today, later on, into suburbs. And uh, whether it's live stream or not, we will definitely, we will definitely feed our lovely cats. We love them. And by the way, you members gonna see right after the stream. I will try to remember. I will post a picture. I will post a picture from uh, from Sestarevetsk, just uh, like an hour ago. I, I saw this cat with so much so much attitude and so beautiful picture. I think you're gonna love it. It's gonna be posted for members from Sestarevetsk suburbs. All right, so are they called muscles? You're gonna flex your muscles. And uh, I'm gonna um, quote some uh, YouTubers from America. I watch, I don't know why, but I enjoy watching the First Amendment auditors. And uh, they, one of them says, I'm against and press as always. Rights are like muscles, if you don't use them, they're gonna uh, eventually go away. <laughs> muscles, all right. This is gonna be a beautiful walk by the beach and you're gonna see awesome beach. And you actually can see that it goes all the way to another city is over there. It goes all the way to, hey, hold up. It goes all the way to Zelenogorsk, towards Viborg. So these are like Soviet made uh, concrete. I don't know, I think they're again made for, uh, so that, uh, you know, if there's a uh, big waves, so that it wouldn't wash all that uh, beach away. Let me know if somebody knows better. Because I've seen these type of constructions, for example, from my childhood in, uh, in where was it, in Voronezh by the lake, actually a huge man-made lake. Then uh, what else? I've seen that also, I think in Riga, where I'm from, I was born, my born city. So pretty cool, right? <laughs> so these are probably some kind of a, um, hold up. Maybe like a guard towers or something from the Soviet era, are they? That's one of the many. Check out the construction style. Rods, metal rods and, and concrete, a lot of it. Whoa. Man, he's eating something. Good appetite. Have a nice, uh, how you say it? Bon appetit. <laughs> Interesting, by the way. <laughs> Is it uh, Italian? Has Italian, Italians taken over the the cuisine culture? Bon appetit. Why, why would the world isn't saying Priyatnova appetita in Russian <laughs> or in some other language? 
have a nice meal. All right, guys. Yeah, good call. Maybe they're oysters. All right, good. Somebody's Johnny is doing good Wikipedia work. Let me tell you. So, actually, there was no such thing as Finland back then when this when this was uh, founded. 1712, I think it was. Was it 12? No, 1721, right? This was uh, founded by Saint uh, by Peter the Great. Ten years after Peter's Saint Petersburg was founded. Or more, 20, sorry, St. Petersburg was founded in 1703. So, this was founded here because they actually, uh, oh, sorry, whoa, they, uh, they have, by, uh, this person founded uh, by the executive order, he founded this uh, munition um, factory. And around that factory, a city was born. So, and when Finland, became actually first the so-called old Finland became part of Russia not autonomous part of Russia Russia it became part of Russia like the eastern side of Finland including Viborg and everything and actually Finland there was no such thing as Finland notice so that's when in 1812 this area uh, like an administrative border was drawn uh, here, meaning everything from here to westwards, uh, which is later was known as Finland, was part of Grand Duchy of Finland, which was still part of Russia, but uh, because Russians were so clever, they were the first one to give autonomy, autonomous decision making to Finnish people, which is always forgotten this political political world all right so that's the answer and uh, then when Finland became independent uh, the border went he through here because of this grand ducky uh, duckies or duchies uh, uh, Russian made border that's 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 how Finland was created. Like all well, the uh, Finland's borders were created, and the independent Finland uh, owned the land that was once uh, Grand Duchy of Finland. But after the Second World War, uh, not actually after the Winter War, correct or Second World War, this was occupied. Uh, not occupied. Sorry. This was uh, taken over by the Soviet Union. And of course, the main reason is there's no way a foreign country is going to have a border so close to strategically important St. Petersburg right next to it. This, this is like a, a 20, like I said, 20 minute drive. If you ask a Finnish person, they're going to have more, uh, you know, the only thing they know is more uh, aggressive version of the story. And they always forget, for example, how these borders were even created. Because there's no way in uh, Russian, there's any way that Finland, Finnish people gonna learn anything positive about Russians Gulf of Finland. 
because there's a lot of places being renamed. You know, Lenin parks are being uh, renamed, for example, in Helsinki. Uh, Lenin um, statues being taken away and, and other Russian Soviet statues being taken away. So there's been actually a discussion that this place should be uh, the Gulf of Finland should be renamed as uh, Gulf of uh, Nevsky. So why not actually? Potato, patata. But uh, sure, I made also, there's a lot of different pla names of places which refer to uh, other countries. I filmed all of the Finnish based names of uh, St. Petersburgian streets, etc. So sure, there's a stuff that can be renamed as well here. But they have Russia hasn't been so crazy as the West in this matter. But let's not get into the politics. Just I'm just telling you some information the best the best way I can. Since we are walking, we're gonna I'm waiting to past this concrete beach, Soviet concrete beach, and we're gonna enter a proper beach. And I hope you can get a little bit of uh, the same great feeling that I'm gonna have while walking on the beach. Who knows nothing? If the name implies the widest autonomy within Russia. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and basically the only autonomy in Russia. In Russian Empire. Right, here's an, again another another guard like uh, building, I don't know, some steps here, check it out, but check it out, awesome kitty, that's what it is, whoa, let's uh, walk these steps, Soviet guardman Igor, So right after that starts the beautiful uh, beach of Sestaretsk, one of the many, because it's never ending. Beach, beaches from beach after a beach, all the way to Zelenogorsk and further. And Zelenogorsk, can you imagine? I still haven't gone back to Zelenogorsk, even though okay. And uh, one of my first videos ever from 2019 was from the same first videos from the first week I started filming was from, for some reason, Zelenogorsk. And uh, I still haven't gone back. For example, the bus I was traveling to uh, buy to this Siestararesk, in Finnish Siestaryoki meaning Sister La River. Uh, it was actually continuing, the bus was continuing to uh, Zelenogorsk. It was like uh, 40, minute, 40 minutes more and I wasn't planning to travel to Russia way too seldom, way, way too rarely because of situation, because of life. So I'm not gonna spend the time just freaking bus traveling like 50 kilometers right guys check it out old soviet uh, flat uh, dock and this is like a, uh, what's the word when you uh, people who save people <laughs> on the beach how do you call that By the way, is the stream all right? 
Is everything good? Wow, the smell is awesome, guys. There's uh, also, by the way, Does anybody need stairs? No? All right. Here we are. The water has gone back a bit. It's probably somewhere here usually. This is the uh, sunny beaches of Siestrarietsk and actually there's a place nearby called, uh, I think it's like uh, sunny, sunny beaches, uh, Solnichne, something like, or the area, Solnichne, sunny. Oh. So, and the park that we were in follows us on the right all the way. Some ducks. I think he's uh, I think he's chasing her. Oh and there's more ducks over there. Man, I just love ducks by the way, they're really nice. Nice creatures. Wow. There's a mother who came to relax after a hard days, hard day of a motherhood. Understandable. So the Gulf of Finland so so beautiful. So there we can see actually uh, some beach volley uh, field, well field, court, courts. There's some seats also there, so uh, I guess people can actually watch some competition over there, I'm pretty sure. It would be cool to walk actually barefooted. But uh, then there's a problem with, uh, you know, I have some stuff on me. Yeah, water is so calm. But uh, if I choose to go by the water, oh, that was the mussel, oyster, I don't know. So uh, I would have to somehow make my feet um, dry, dry, dry down, dry out. And, uh, and I was thinking of uh, hopping on a, on a certain uh, e-bike and uh, show you around going to the city. There was a lot of people who would want me to. Nice. Quad bike. So if there would be a lot of people demanding me to go, I could think about it. So yeah, there's a easy ways to actually have a nice uh, each day easily in, uh, in St. Petersburg. Really easy. It's 20 minutes by, by a car. Beach. And by the way, I've also filmed uh, St. Petersburg in the city, really close to the Zenit Stadium. Really, really packed. All right, enough of me. 
enjoy a little bit more of this beach which is looks pretty uh, it's pretty uh, never-ending and good question can you see I think it could be it's not that right so I guess it's on the left behind the corner I have to watch the map but I don't have the want to see more of Kronstadt. I wanted to go there today but Sjesterdesk is the place I've been only once and Kronstadt has been like three times and I filmed it. So please check the videos the link in the description to the map where you can see a lots of different walks in Kronstadt from me. I've I check out all the uh, war war uh, memorial I check it out what it's doing the navy ships etc so it's pretty cool let's see if I go there tomorrow or what I have some other plans as well maybe for Thursday uh, for Sunday so yeah Kronstadt is awesome uh, but the beaches is definitely here like the number one thing like summertime guys in the summertime where the weather was high that's cool by the way in the middle of, uh, of the beach you can see uh, see some like uh, well stuff growing which means I don't know there's enough of uh, land to grow on so let's go to the, to the city I think that probably people are surfing, but not on this weather, for sure. Guys, are you ready to go into town? Enough of the beach? Is it? Zenit, Zenit football team, St. Petersburg. Like uh, sunbathing over there.
guys remember the push likes push likes for unorthodox on ordinary footages from Russia All right, let's see if my bike is there it was very convenient space for this beach and there's different sections of the beach going forward Guys, I'm gonna use quickly the app and we will continue on the bike that I actually arrived on. Yes, we're gonna get a good stream. And here's the entrance by the way to the to the park, Dubki Park. Really nice park. I'm not gonna be filming parks now, so stay tuned just one second. Right. Let's hope I won't forget. I won't forget the second time my shirt, my college shirt. Uh, that place you're gonna see in my other video which was not stream so we are exploring actually new areas new areas of uh, Siestre Eriesk well check it out I think it's abandoned yeah wow it's abandoned building and why looks so cool I think it's probably some old uh, you know an old uh, resort yeah everything is forgot I want to go in but I can't check out the gates these are old ones probably from the Soviet era whoa man it went fast driving with my one one hand so if I die it's your fault guys resort houses oh. this is how rich people live Notice a lot of gates everywhere. That's uh, very Russian because there's a lot of people. Whereas uh, rich people, there's also the ones who want to take take something from them. Right, we're entering now actually like a suburban area. Let's go through here actually. Because 
the streams that I that are unprepared, YouTube blocks them or something like that. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna see it later with more intention, you know, like a thumbnail and uh, all kinds of stuff. So this is Siesta Revets, guys. How does it look like? Shop for kids. Oh, I'm unable to go with this. Hold up, I will try to somehow raise the bike. Ooh. Back on track. Ah, let's go. Guys, this is the near in the Sestoretsk center. Pretty cool looking, right? Lots of rich people's places as well. Usually living behind the gates. <laughs> Man, I really need coffee, by the way. Really need coffee. Let's go to, through the park. There's nothing to see. There's people chilling. I have a suspicion that the adjustments for this video is that only members, uh, I think maybe only subscribers can comment. There we can see already it's like Euro Spar shop. Semi. Uh, Semi-rare one, actually, I might say. Eurospar, you, you see it from time to time. Last time I was in Eurospar is uh, one and a half months ago, in well, almost two months ago, in um, in Moscow. I bought water and ice cream. Whoa, shit. Dangerous to drive with one hand, you know. Very modern buildings. Are people moving away from main city feature? No, oh, no. On the contrary, city is uh, very expensive to live in. But this is not much cheaper, probably. But uh, maybe you can get a bit more space.
this is actually the train station over here. So what time is it, by the way, right now? Hold up. Let's drive around just a little bit more. This area I filmed already like three times, two years ago, today, on a yet unreleased video. And uh, check it out, how old building is that one? I wonder if the train comes here. I hope so. Can you imagine, two years ago, we actually walked over there through the old area. So this city doesn't have like a proper old town, you know. But I can show you the brand new suburban area of Siestraretsk. This is the one I walked last time. So you can see brand new buildings on the left, which I saw two years ago. And then you have these buildings here. It's like a village, old, abandoned, half abandoned village. And it's pretty hardcore. You're going to be amazed what you're going to see now because it actually is like, as if it's like, you know, here's the border. We are entering an old town, <laughs> old village. There's no even a road. I don't know, can you go here even actually, but let's go. Where am I? Behind me new. Super old. New. Super old. <laughs> Well, let's go through this short area of super old village, like straight from the Resident Evil movie. Even the cobblestones are here in place. Bordered up on each side. I feel bad for it actually, it's beautiful. Maybe some crazy people actually live there. You know, this is the, exactly the way we walked with with Olia three years ago. This might have been like the old munition factory area that, we, that the city was based on. And this, imagine this area has an own. Check it out, hold up. Yeah, here we can 
can see this is like a Stalinist era building or early 1900s. And this is the place we walked with Olya Hamburg. This is, by the way, I love it. It's pretty rough, but I love it. Uh, let's see what we can. Oh, yeah, a cat. Hey, let's feed her. Kss, kss, kss. Kss, kss, kss. Hold up. Hey. Hey, hey, it doesn't want food. Sorry guys, it doesn't want, it doesn't even look at here. Look in here. No, no nothing. see a whole different siesta radiesk. <sighs> no proper roads but beautiful buildings new that's a new building here. Feed the cat. Can you see? Whoa. Now, this is the Estorevetsk suburb outside the city center. Man, I was scared of somebody's head, but there was a mannequin. Yeah. But, uh, Whoa, check it out. Some wild stuff. The real suburbs. Pretty rough, I remember, yeah. area guys somebody sleeping outside in that tent it's kids it's playing I've never seen that aggression before can you hear me properly it's okay looking building The gated area means that's the rich people. Normal people, rich people. And we go through here. Yes. Wow, beautiful. Somebody that's somebody's like uh, personal interest in making that type of a courtyard. They're all cool looking. So everything is alright I'd say. Sometimes I walk inside. By the way, somebody's actually using that to uh, dry its clothes her his clothes. This car was here last time, <laughs> two years ago. Yeah, it's, it looks all right, I gotta say. Brand new courtyards, play ki playground for kids. People, and this is outside St. Petersburg. This is not the rural area that people refer to. 
and these buildings are probably from the Russian Empire era. These are Soviet era. Not necessarily, but maybe this is early 1900s. So check it out. Man, it smells bad, by the way. It smells like. Uh, ghetto-ish vibes from this place though all right guys this is was it from uh, Siestradetsk for today going back I gotta eat something gotta go back to St. Petersburg we're gonna have another video later later tonight so check out the channel see you guys in the night and maybe Let's see if I go live before that. Probably not, but I would record more stuff so you'll see me all the time. Thanks for joining. Thanks for all the comments. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.